Welcome to session seven of the Pain and Tension Relief Yoga Program. And here we are again in beautiful Sedona here at Cathedral Rock. So before we get started, just take a second, settle in, get comfortable, and just breathe in. And as you breathe, just know that I'm infusing this video with as much of this energy as I can to send out to you to help you work on everything that you're working on in your lives right now to help support you. <sighs> All right. In the last couple sessions, we've been working on some core strengthening postures. So today I'd like to start with a opening for your core to help you open and stretch. So we're going to start with Urdhva Mukha Svanasan, also known as Upward Dog. This is really going to open the abdomen muscles and it's going to continue this chest opening like we've been working on, continue lengthening the spine. So if we start as if you just finished Chaturanga Dandasan, you're going to squeeze the elbows in, come down to the ground and relax. And what you want to do is you want to push firmly into the ground and you want to be able to have this rocking motion here. And the reason you want to have this rocking motion is because you need to have a resistance. The hips need to resist you pulling forward. And that's what's going to help continue to create that opposing action, pulling the hips back as you pull the chest forward and back. Pull the shoulders back, lift the chest and stretch through the chin and breathe. And you want to hold this posture for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, and working with the goal for 60 seconds or more. And then bring the toes under and come back down. Relax, lift up, and come back to child's pose. Really stretch out through the fingers, let the shoulders release, let the hips pull back. Now in Urdhva Mukha Svanasan, or Upward Dog, it is kind of an intense stretch on the spine because it is bending the spine backwards. So what I want you to keep an eye out for is compression, a sensation of compression in the low back. So I'm going to give you an option. If you're feeling compression in the low back, I'm going to offer you to try Cobra. Again, as if you just finished Chaturanga Dandasan, squeezing the elbows, coming down. Now you can relax the toes, relax the feet. And same thing with Urdhva Mukha Svanasan. You want to have this rocking motion with the hips resisting you pulling forward. Now this version of Cobra is going to really work the triceps. So you're going to still push into the ground and just lift the chest, pulling the chest open and stretching out through the chin. Now this is really going to work the triceps, like I said, especially if you hold it for 60 seconds. So you can make life easier on yourself. Bring your hands down, supporting with your elbows. And still, you have this rocking motion. So you're going to pull with your hands, pressing down with your forearms and your elbows, pulling the shoulders back, opening the chest, stretching out through the chin, and pulling forward. And breathe. And you can incrementally work from here into the other version of Cobra, to here, and then eventually work little by little. But listen to your body, do what's right. You don't want to have any kind of discomfort in the low back or any kind of compression in the low back or in the base of the spine in the neck. So here, here, or here. And then always rest and restore in our favorite posture, child's pose. <sighs> open up those shoulders, release the rib cage, open the knees and just let the hips pull back and just relax and breathe. 
Mm, that should feel really good. The next posture we're going to add on to this session is Adho Mukha Svanasana, which is also known as Downward Dog. Now this posture is actually going to work through the whole body. It's going to work from the ankles all the way through the wrists, the shoulders, the arms, the hamstrings, the backside of the leg, the quads are activated, and you're really opening everything in the abdomen. So starting from your hands and your knees, you want to make sure that your hands are about shoulder width apart and reaching in front of your shoulders just a little bit. Check your knees. Make sure your knees are about hip width apart and then bring your toes up underneath. And as you inhale, you're going to make sure that your hands are very grounded and your weight is stretching from the center of your hand all the way out through your fingertips. Now on the inhale, you're going to press into the toes, lift the knees, straighten the legs, and then you're going to stretch through the arms, through the shoulders, all the way through the spine. And if you watch my pelvis, you wanna make sure that your pelvis tilts, okay? Does it make your sit bones point up to the ceiling or to the sky, okay? So stretching through the arms, shoulders, spine, and tilt the pelvis. And again, you wanna hold this posture for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, and working up to 60 seconds and more. Come forward to neutral and restore in child's pose. Ah, that feels so good, right? Now, Adho Mukha Svanasan, or downward dog, it can take some time to work up incrementally into this posture. So what I really want to advise you guys to do is listen to your body and never compromise the integrity of the posture to try to get deeper into the posture. Really honor what's going on in your body and work with it little by little and incrementally you'll get there. So what I'm going to show you right now are a couple options. Starting from your hands and knees, hands reaching a little bit in front of the shoulders, toes curled under. When you inhale, you lift the knees. Okay, bring your feet in a little bit and here you may already be feeling the pull in your hamstrings if your hamstrings are really tight but go ahead and straight straighten the legs and come to your toes and in order to release some of the pressure in the hamstrings you may have your shoulders being supported more from your arms instead of being able to stretch through your shoulders but you'll incrementally get from here to here and then slowly get into the heels and let them go down and really release the rib cage release the shoulder blade stretch all the way out through the fingers and rotate that pelvis tilt it forward lift the sit bones to the sky Remember, you don't want to compromise the posture to do this because of your hamstrings. It's better to come forward a little bit and lift the toes or lift the heels and straighten the legs. And then little by little, you'll get there. Okay. Open the knees, come on back down, and restore in child's pose. You deserve it. Yes. Now, one thing I want to advise you guys to look out for with Adho Mukha Svanasana, or Downward Dog, is the shoulders and the back and the rib cage. Now, a lot of times when we first start this posture, it feels really good to just really stretch into it. But what happens is a lot of times we'll hyperextend this joint and that's kind of contrary to what we're trying to do. We're trying to create space between the joints and not jam the bones and cartilage together, right? So we wanna really listen to what's going on in our body and try to open and create space, right? Get this feeling where you feel like your joints are breathing, like your lungs are expanding with the breath. And then when you relax and come out of it, they can contract. And that actually moves the fluid through the joints and helps your joints heal. So I'm gonna give you an example of what to watch for when you're in 
Adho Mukha Svanasana. Okay, so you come up in the beginning, and I've done this too, so if this is what feels right to you in the beginning, don't worry about it, we've all been there, okay? When you start off, this might feel really good. But it's almost like doing a back bend. You're really stretching and compressing the shoulder joint and dropping the, sh the chest down here. So you don't want that. You want this. Not this, but this. Come to neutral. Down and relax. And that's all for today's session. So we've added on Erdva Mukhasvanasan, Upward Dog, with a modification using Cobra. And we've also added on Ardo Mukhasvanasan, which is Downward Dog, with modification to help you get into the hamstrings and your calf muscles and your shoulders without compromising the integrity of the posture. All right, you guys, take a second to just breathe in. And exhale. Just sit comfortably, lengthening through the spine. And as you breathe, follow your breath deep inside the body. With a sense of gratitude, let your awareness come into all the extra space you're creating, the changes you're creating in your body. And be thankful to your body for everything that it does to support everything that you do throughout the day, even on autopilot. And now give yourself permission to be thankful to yourself. Yes, to yourself. Say thank you self, because you're putting in a lot of extra effort and energy and time into this program reconnecting with your body, strengthening the relationship you have with your body, to become more of a partner, working together to support your body's natural healing processes. Bring your hands to your heart center. And as you breathe, know that all the work that you're doing is helping to support you to be the best you you can be for you and for those that you love. I know you guys are doing a great job, so keep up the practice and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Namaste. See you guys soon. Bye.